Good Sunday evening, everyone. So we had a warm afternoon with high temperatures reaching the low to mid 80s. That's going to change for the next couple of days, all because of a front that is now stalled out over the valley. It's going to linger tonight over the valley, then push through finally as a cold front tomorrow morning. It'll still be mild tomorrow during the day, but then temperatures start to fall by tomorrow evening. Uh, what you're seeing on the radar, that is not rain. Those are false returns. We expect it to stay rain free. Our bigger concern is the chance for some patchy, dense fog tonight, overnight, as well as tomorrow morning. So please do be careful if you're driving tonight as well as tomorrow morning. Have the kids wear some reflective clothing before school tomorrow. Temperatures have already cooled off to 60 one degrees in Edinburgh and Westlaco. Right now, 62 in Rio Grande City. Still in the upper 60s in Port Isabel, Brownsville, and McAllen. Lower 60s, though, in Raymond, Miller, Harlingen. Here are the winds. They are actually calm now, most places. Still out in the northeast at 7 miles an hour in Port Isabel. So here's the day planner forecast. You want a sweater or jacket in the morning. Temperatures at 63 at 8 a.m. Watch out for that potentially dense fog at 8 a.m. We'll have mostly cloudy skies for most of the day and then some more sunshine as the day goes on, especially mid to late afternoon, 75 at noon and then 76 at 5 p.m. So, yes, it's still going to be mild during the day. It's going to take a few more hours for the cooler air to filter into the region. But by tomorrow evening, those temperatures will start to fall. So by Tuesday morning, those lows will only be in the upper 40s and lower 50s. There's a front right now stalled out over the valley. Should get going later on tonight or tomorrow morning, pushing through. Meanwhile, we've been seeing snow in New Mexico, especially around Albuquerque as well as eastern New Mexico. The pink is a wintry mix over the Texas Panhandle, all moving off to the east. And look at the temperatures right now. It's a cold night up north in Amarillo, 35 degrees. Right now, 52 in Dallas, Fort Worth, and El Paso. 62 in Houston, 57 in San Antonio, and 59 in Del Rio. But up north right now, 29 Minneapolis, St. Paul. 23 in Bismarck, 30 in Billings, Montana. 19 in Winnipeg, 25 Thunder Bay, and 33 degrees in Green Bay. Right now, 34 in Kansas City. So back home in Texas, here's what it looks like. Front pushes through early tomorrow morning. We'll have mostly cloudy skies again. It should be a dry front. Some more sunshine by late tomorrow afternoon. It'll be chillier by Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning with low temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s. But it should be pretty nice on Tuesday with low humidity and a lot of sunshine. Then things start to warm up Thursday and Friday with highs back in the upper 70s. And yet another front comes in by next week. And so ahead of it, we'll put in a slight chance of some showers Friday and Saturday. Front passes through Saturday early morning, so it cools off just in time for next week. And it's dry tomorrow, dry Tuesday, and dry all also on Wednesday on the water we'll have winds out of the east and northeast at 5 to 15 knots. The bay waters are moderate chop and the seas are 2 to 5 feet. Your forecast for tonight, mostly cloudy skies. Good chance for some patchy dense fog. Low temperatures in the upper 50s. Adjusted the low temperature down to 59 degrees. So we're already seeing temperatures at this point at 61 degrees in some spots. Tomorrow, some fog in the morning. More sunshine for the afternoon. Should be around 79 for the high temperature. Winds out in the north at 10 to 15 miles an hour. So here's that 7-day forecast. Should be pretty nice on Tuesday, sunny, not humid and cool with a low temperature of 50 Tuesday morning up to 66 on Tuesday for the afternoon down to 49 Wednesday morning, but milder by the afternoon with a high of 70. Then it's mostly cloudy again Thursday and Friday with highs in the upper 70s. And at this point, we'll throw in a 30% chance of some spotty showers Friday and Saturday, then cooling off behind the front Saturday with a high of 65 by next Sunday. That's your first Warren 5 forecast.